see any show. Not just to see a drag show or a burlesque show. Not just to see people being fabulous and sparkly. You are here to see a burlesque celebration of a body abundance, are you? Yeah. We all use different words to describe our bodies. I use the word fat. Some people love cur yeah, get up for fat. Some people like curvy. Some people like curvy. Some people like voluptuous. Some people mispronounce that as voluptuous, and I also like that. All of it is good. Whatever it is, uh, body wealthy is also an option. I very much enjoy that. But tonight we are here for burlesque, we are here for reveals, we are here for thrills and chills, we are here for a little striptease, are we not? And I have to tell you, I, I was like, I normally don't wear panties with this outfit. However, tonight we are walking the catwalk. Should I have a jazzle? And then I was like, that sounds fucking uncomfortable. So, I have worn my finest, tiny sparkle panties for all of you right here on the edge. Again, you're welcome. Thank you, I made them myself. <laughs> and thank you, like we feel very supported this evening. I enjoy that very much. Um, and I would like to introduce you to my co-producer for the evening. Please welcome to the stage the fabulous Abby Fantastic! if we get too close. That's actually true. <laughs> Sequencer like Velcro. Yeah, that was awesome. I felt like Showtime at the Apollo and I'm Kiki Shepard. <laughs> I would like to open the show with my favorite song about stripping. Could you hit it, please? I knew something good was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it. Knew I belonged in New York City. I knew it. I knew it started out behind the bar. A go go star. Well, you should have heard him shout and holler and holler and holler, handing me up another dollar, a dollar, a dollar, dancing out there in the bus. They just couldn't get enough of me. Anyone who was there would have seen why they went wild. Oh, they went nuts. Now I know what they mean.
this thing. And I was like, I gotta give it a trial run. Look at, look at it. Oh my god. if you are taking off your brassiere to also stuff money in it at the same time. I can do it, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So tonight we have burlesque, we have boylesque, we have drag queens, we have drag kings, we have lady queens, and we have some surprises that I will roll out a little bit later. Let us flash you, please. Uh, no flash photography. But if you'd like to take a photo, I hope that you will hashtag it JC Burlesque, which is probably stamped on your hand. I'm very, very clever. <laughs> uh, so, um, also, if we come out into the audience, some of us might give you a slight caress. Um, nobody will hurt you, I don't think. This is. <laughs> right, guys? Okay. So, um, but I ask that you please keep your hands to yourself and not do anything presidential tonight. <laughs> in burlesque, if somebody leans over like this. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. What if somebody's like, oh, how about some girl? Oh. Or maybe a little here leg like this. Yeah. Hooray. Yes, those are all correct. <laughs> all of those things are exactly what you do. We are like Tinkerbell and we live on your applause. So the more you drink and the more you clap, the more we're going to take off. How about that? Yeah. in there, y'all. Oh, don't mind if I do. White Elephant Burlesque at Rock Bar in the City, which is super close to the Christopher Street Pass Station. It is an incredible show full of weirdness and diversity, and this particular show is an improv show. Um, Victor has chosen some of his favorite people and some of his favorite songs and said, bring a costume and I'll play a song and then you take it off. So, uh, it's gonna be a surprise round every day on the corner. <laughs> bring your french fries. <laughs> Down. She's honestly the hardest working girl here. Oh, that's, I'll keep it warm. It's fine. Oh, no, no, go ahead and. Yeah, take thing. I was going to put it back with the french fries for later. Maybe we'll pull, maybe we'll pull out like a toy car. Like, it'll have generated its own Happy Meal bags. Uh oh. I would be so famous on Instagram. Oh, my friends. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you guys are here. I'm like in the moment right now. And honestly, crappy week. Give, give yourselves a round of applause for getting out and coming and having a little communion. Because I understand. I mean, I have all of it. I have a very comfy couch and I have all the subscriptions and I have occasional social anxiety and all the seamless that you could ever want. So the temptation is to just nuzzle your butt in a little bit more. But uh, maybe there will be some more butt nuzzling later, so it will be even happier that you came out. My friends, our next performer to the stage is a bit of a changeling. He sprung forth from the loins 
remains of Freddie Mercury and Liza Minnelli. <laughs> dancers at Studio 54. Now he has surfaced, and from that mirror bald underworld, he's determined to win your heart and to take his place as the charming bastard of Boylesque. 